Hello and welcome back to Oh, I punched the table. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's Tuesday review video. This week I wanted to review a hot tool by the brand insert name here, which is a hair uh brand, I guess you could say that. And I reviewed a couple of their products on my channel before. I have the ponytail. The, the one, well, they make a, a bunch of ponytails. I have their Mia ponytail, I have their Zoe bangs, and I have their U-Clip extension. Now I have a hot tool. So this is uh, the insert blowout here, by insert name here. This is one of those sort of blow dryer slash round brush tools. We see a lot of them these days, and then Dyson kind of came up with their own answer, which is like a blow dryer uh, curling wand, if you will. And I've always wanted to try one because I really hate blow drying my hair. You know what, we're gonna get to that in a second. Um, because this video is gonna be a little bit different than I usually do, because I can't just give you a, if I think this is worth it or not worth it, I have to give you the whole backstory as someone with a disability, specifically someone with my physical disability that limits my sort of strength and my range of motion. I bought this from the insert name here website. It was a little expensive. Um, thank you to YouTube, because I bought it with one of my YouTube checks, so thank you. Keep watching my videos and supporting them, and then I can buy more fun stuff to review. Um, so if I had got, like, the Revlon one, it would have been cheaper, but this one was a little bit more expensive, but I decided to go for it anyway. So like I said, if we take a quick look at it on the insert name here website, the insert blowout here retails for $72 American. Um, so insert blowout here. She's cool, she's hot, she's the best thing you've ever bought. With nylon bristles, three temperature settings, an LED indicator, and ceramic titanium plates to protect your hair. Insert blowout here, blow dryer brush, will be your new hair BFF. She's also equipped with an ion generator for a fast drying process, so you can style your hair and still have time to spare. Get the salon blowout at home at a fraction of the cost with INH's blow dryer brush. So here's the backstory. I have very naturally straight hair. This is my sort of natural hair texture. Um, it's very thick, and there is a lot of it. So while I don't necessarily have to blow dry my hair to style it, when I let my hair air dry, it takes hours. So nine times out of ten, I do leave my hair to air dry, but it's it's just not my favorite because it makes my hair so much heavier, and then you have to take into account the fact that I sit in a wheelchair. So my hair, when it's wet, it's sandwiched between my body and the chair. So there's whole, not a whole lot of airflow. There's just all this moisture trapped back there behind me, and it just kind of gets stuck. And it's just, it's just not ideal in any sense of the word. But I don't have the strength or the range of motion to blow dry my hair with a brush at the same time. First of all, a lot of blow dryers are quite heavy. Um, I personally have a travel size blow dryer that I bought from Winners. I think it's an Eva NYC blow dryer, and it's small. But even still, like in order to hold the blow dryer and a brush, like I just, I, I physically cannot do it, I've tried. So then when these blow dryer brushes became sort of a thing, I was interested in them, but a lot of them look really heavy. And the Revlon one to me looks heavy, but then also where the handle is, like you're holding it, you end up holding it very close to the brush, so I feel like it would get really hot. And I actually convinced myself for a while there that the answer was the Dyson Airwrap. I know that that's so embarrassing, but that's like a $600 tool, and I really was convinced that I needed to buy it to try it to use it. Um, but it it also looks heavy. And I watched a couple of reviews and pe people mentioned that by the time they were done their hair, uh, their arms were tired. And I was like, these are like normal people. How could I ever use it? And then the more I looked at it, the more I was like, well, the handle is so long and the hair section is so small. I don't know how, like it might take forever on my long, thick hair. Like I just, I don't know. So then I saw this one and I liked the shape of the handle because I could hold it here and then the things are up here. So it's not going to be hot on my hands. And Insert Name Here is a really accessible brand in the sense that I can just message them on Instagram and they'll answer me. So I sent them a message. I asked how much this weighed and they said it was only one pound. I don't even think this weighs one pound personally. I think it's it's very light. Like it almost feels hollow. It's so light. Um, but yeah, I asked them how much it weighed and they told me it was only one pound. So I decided to go for it and try it because I figured even though this is more expensive than some of the other options, I liked the shape of the handle. I like the look of it because it's obviously like white and sort of the salmony pink. It's very cute and it seemed very uh, light. That was the main thing for me. So I got it in the mail and the clip that I have for you of me trying it was actually the first time I tried it. So I'm definitely much better at it now than I was then. And I have to say, while I don't use it in a very, very like strategic particular way to get my hair perfectly dry, I usually get my hair probably 90% is dry because I have so much thick hair in the back of my head. I just leave some of it sort of damp. I can usually get my hair fairly dry, dry enough in about 15 minutes, which is absolutely insane to me. And what I do is I usually just take the, like a bottom section of my hair and I split it in half and I stick this underneath and on the hot setting, I just kind of pull and I like do the little curve at the end and that's that. I usually only use this on the high setting because 
I have so much hair, so much thick hair. I do switch to the cool setting uh, a little bit, especially in some of the areas where I want some more volume to sort of help set it, but for the most part, I use this on high. It does make me very warm, but I haven't burned myself or anything yet, so that's positive. One of the other cons to having very long, straight, thick hair is that it's very flat, naturally. It's very flat, and although I have not washed my hair for about two days now, so it's kind of flat again, I do find that when I use this, I get much more volume than I ever had before, especially because of the way it's shaped. The way that it's sort of... It's not a circle, it's like a oval, I guess. I'm able to stick one of the smaller sides up into my roots and then pull it out, and that creates a little more body than I definitely would have had otherwise. I like it because it has these thick plastic bristles with the little nubbins on the end, and those really grab my hair. Um, but then it also has these boar bristles, um, and they're not all over the boar bristles, they're only in some sections, usually like at the end. They're not in the middle. Um, and I just find that those together, I usually have to brush my hair out pretty well first because my hair does not so easily, but it really helps to grab my hair to pull it through to kind of, not, I don't know that straightening it is the right word that I'm trying to use, but it helps helps me sort of feel like it's kind of pulling my hair smoother and straighter while giving it some uh, additional volume and flattening it out and also blow it, blowing it dry. So because of my hair's natural texture, I don't really do, I don't really have to deal with frizz really, so I don't know how this works for frizzy hair. But for someone in my specific situation, if you have mobility sort of range of motion issues, and you're worried that other blow dryers might, like this might be too heavy. Um, this is definitely one that I would recommend because I find it to be quite light. Because of the shape, I can get it right behind and just kind of pull it out and pull it forward. I find that, you know, out of all the brushes I've seen, this is the only one that I was confident enough in to buy. And I definitely think that that was the right choice. And so for someone like me in my particular situation, I would 100% re recommend this. Do I think this is right for everyone? No, especially depending on your range of motion and especially your hair texture because someone with sort of curlier, kinky hair, I don't know how well this would smoothen it out. It might leave a, a little bit of frizz, but I love that I bought this. I use it all the time, especially now because it's summer. So if I have all that hair behind me and it's warm, I'm just going to get like damp and ugh, it's just going to be kind of gross. So I definitely prefer to be able to have the option to blow dry my hair just so that it's not sopping wet all the time when I get out of the shower, you know what I mean? It's not even about styling it, it's just about comfort of me sitting here without my hair being so wet. So, do I recommend this product? Um, if it's something that you can see yourself using um, and you think would be beneficial to you and to your hair and to your lifestyle, I recommend this. This is a great product. I just want you to understand that I also realize that this is not something that's for everybody. And it's definitely not something that's in everybody's price range. And it's not something that's going to work for everybody's hair type. But for me, this is perfect. And although it was expensive, I have no regrets that I bought it. This is the sort of thing that I can see myself using forever until it breaks. And it's just so nice to finally be able to have a blow dryer option. A, so that I can, you know... I typically shower in the evening simply because it takes so long for my hair to dry. If I shower in the morning, I'm going to have wet hair all day. Um, so this is nice to have an option to shower in the morning, to have dry hair before I go to bed. It just really saves me a lot of sort of mental hassle and a lot of mental gymnastics, and I'm just really happy I have it. So for me, like if I was, if I was making this video just for me, I would be like, yes, Abby, you need this. Trust me, it'll make your life so much easier. But... I, I want to just kind of leave it a little more open-ended for anyone else because it really is such a specific to you, to your hair type, to your lifestyle, if you think that this is the sort of thing that you could use. And anyway, that's it for this week's Tuesday review video. I hope you liked it. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you let me know a little bit about what you thought. Maybe let me know about your hair type and if this is the sort of thing that you might be interested in. If it's not, I'm just interested to hear what kind of hair types watch my channel and if you have hair like mine or if you don't, like, is this the sort of thing that you could see yourself using? I'm just curious. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!